Today we're going to be changing the oil on a yard machine, 139cc lawnmower. Uh, you know, basic lawnmower, you get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. Um, but if you want them to run for a long time and not have to buy a lawnmower every little bit, um, got to change the oil in them, properly maintain them. Uh, basically, you can see this oil spot right here. That's what the oil looks like inside of there right now. Um, so that's a good indicator to change it. Uh, oil should be kind of pretty golden and pretty clear. Um, so just going to do a 10, in, 10 millimeter socket on this right here. It's going to be the lowest point. Um, the reason I've got it angled like this is because that's the only way I can catch it in this little thing here. And that may not even work that well. This wasn't designed very well, but hopefully we'll get most of it in this container here. Um, most important thing is to run the lawnmower. Do this after you cut the grass or let it run for 10 minutes. You gotta have hot oil to be able to do this properly. And you can see the color of that. Um, not exactly real pretty, you know. And I'm kind of making a mess here, but uh, it's the only way it'll work. So. And that's just about it. Always keep oil soaked in your shop, and uh, this is why. But wait for the oil to finish draining out of there. This is why you want the motor to be running for at least 10 minutes or after you mow the yard, because it needs to be uh, very viscous and warm and be able to drain all the way out and drain all that old oil out of there. So now what I'm gonna do is put this plug back up not too tight because it's aluminum just snug is perfectly fine and I'm gonna set this down and we'll just add the oil back in it right here through the top um, one of my favorite oils to use is the mobile 040 Basically, I really like this because of the 0 to 40 rating. Um, it's going to, it calls for 10W30, but if you have a 0 weight rating, basically what these are are weight ratings um, as the oil gets hot. So when it's cold, it's at a 0 viscosity, which means it's very, very thin. So the startup is going to be a lot easier on this motor, and then it's going to be uh, more protective as it gets hotter. Uh, so it's going to, go from zero viscosity as it warms up all the way to 40 which is going to protect it great when it's hot and warm so this is the stuff i like to use in pretty much everything um, it's a great great oil and it's a fully synthetic so it won't turn brown and black like this so quick this oil lasts a long long time uh, you won't have to change it for a couple of years so that's what i like to use we'll go ahead and fill it up here probably Roughly about half a quart. We'll see what it does. Pour that right in there. Make sure it's all going down. And if you ever overfill it, then you can just let a little back out. It's not really that big a deal at all. So I'll dump that in there. And pull that out. Dipstick. Wipe it off. No good. Thread it all the way down. And then check right there. So this one's got a little bit much in it, but I think that'll be okay. Basically, as long as we're in the crosshairs, uh, that's a good, good sign. If you if you need to drain a little bit out, just drain a little bit out through that, where you just drain the other old oil out, and 
you're good to go and now this thing will last a good long time now you can see that's just about perfect and you can see the nice golden color as opposed to when we dipped it in here that's when you need to start thinking about changing your oil when it starts getting that blacker color like that um, you can kind of see in here how nasty this stuff is it's got metal shavings that's what all that stuff is in there that you can see metal shavings water debris all kinds of nasty stuff keep your oil changed it'll run forever